a beauty. Wow, what a beautiful fish. And this motor does great, even with this bigger kayak. All right, guys, we are here at the same lake I was at last time. I finally got my um, trolling motor fixed. So let's get this baby out. It does have the wheel in the back. So it makes it pretty easy sometimes. There it goes. So I did fix my motor bracket. This is the bracket that had broken. Um, it broke simply because I drilled a hole uh, too big through here, which caused it to break. But now, uh, all I did was use the same size uh, bolt, just a little longer to where I could put a nut on the back. And I think this should last permanently now. And I love this little motor. It only weighs, I think, five pounds with the bracket. It's like six pounds. So it's really light, works really well. It's 24 pound thrust. Uh, and I think it goes about three to four miles an hour on uh, full speed. And on slow speed, it goes about a mile or two, which is perfect for fishing for me. And what's cool about having a trolling motor is you don't really need a rudder. You don't need any of the um, pedals and this wire running through here. Um, simply because the trolling motor is side mounted so I could easily reverse adjust the positioning of my kayak without having to use my pedals or anything I just use this little arm control here really easy to install and uh, really easy just to adjust and all that so to install it you just loosen these guys and you pop it in there and it literally takes just a minute if that uh, once you have it in there, this is pretty good here. I don't want it any further. I could just lock it into place for now. So that way when I drop my kayak in the water, it's just sitting up like this. It's not... Um, let me make sure it's off. Yes, it is. It's not in the water. It's not bottoming out. It's ready to be put in the water. So the battery I'm using is a Lithium Pros TM2450. So you can see the motor is really easy to uh, put on your kayak and take off. That's one main reason I bought it. Uh, these bottom knobs here, I tightened with some pliers. So these are permanently tight so it doesn't twist on me. These up here, I hand tighten. Now that we're in our kayak, we can just push away from the shore and then drop our trolling motor in and tighten it up pretty well to where it's not going to turn on us when we turn the motor on. It is a little windy today, but it's perfect for the pike. So I could already drop my motor in, but I'm actually going to paddle out a little just in case we get blown back by the wind as I'm explaining this uh, video here. It's a beautiful day out. I see a couple boats out, but no one in the area that I fish, which is really nice. Okay, so to drop it in, simple. We loosen these guys, loosen this guy all the way. And boys, we are in the water. Now get your handle around. And I keep my handle right here next to me, like this. And now the trick is to tighten this really tight, right here, these little knobs. If you're gonna be on the water for a while, tighten them as tight as you can. I always start with the low speed on this thing. You can go to high speed, but sometimes it will turn in here because these are only hand tightened. But if you start in low speed, it's just fine. And we're gonna head out towards the middle of the lake. So once you get going, you just put it on high speed and you're going pretty fast already. Look at the big waves. They're not too big, but we're going right through them. And this motor will move you a lot faster than you can paddle. And you can get around super quick with it. It's an awesome motor. I love it. 
Uh, I had this motor on my Viper Menards kayak. That one was a 10 foot 6 inch kayak that only weighed 40 pounds. And this is slow speed and it's moving fast. So let's go to high speed. And now I'm cruising, wow. This kayak is twice as heavy and it's almost 12 feet long. So it's much bigger. And this motor does great even with this bigger kayak. 